Hi, this is Ferber. And I'm Tina. And I'm Mary. I'm just Dave. And we're both Dave. <laughs> Yay! Yay. Ferber! Yeah. So today we're going to talk about podcasts again. Um, and by again, I mean, we tried a long time ago and I didn't know what they were, even though we were making it. It's podcast. in the bloopers. If you look at the bird barf bloopers, there's but Tina discussing it. I figured it out. <laughs> um, so we're going to talk about nonfiction podcasts that we like. And then part two of this will be fiction podcasts that we like and or don't like because we also have to be negative people. Yeah, that's what we do. And talk about things that we hate. Because I actually, I started podcasts with nonfiction. Po- I started with Nerdist. Chris Hardwick's Nerdist podcast. That was one of the first things I started listening to. And so I actually, because we were talking about, like, fiction versus nonfiction. It's like, Welcome to Night Vale, obviously, we'll talk about. But, like, Nerdist podcast is a big one for me, which I really enjoy that. Do you listen to that? No. Do you? I do not. Basically, Chris Hardwick. And I love usually, Chris Hardwick, though. Chris oh Hardwick's God, a, he's, yes. And he's, he's such a he's wonderful interviewer. He's one of my interviewer. great loves. <laughs> he's a wonderful interviewer. Like, he's really good. And he gets Jonah Ray on there. And Matt um, as well. And it's like, so they basically, like, someone will come in. And it's nice because they post them pretty frequently, but and you can just kind of go and look, and they have listed by who's on the podcast. You can decide if you want to download it, if you mm-hmm. want to listen to it. Um, I've listened like Daniel Craig was actually gave a really great podcast. Um, my favorite one ever is Brian Henson was on a few years ago. You know, so you can go through and look at all these. They get all kinds of people on talking about all sorts of things. Um, and Chris Hardwick does give really good interviews. So if you like interviews with people who do things. Um, I recommend The Nerdist. So that's my number one. Nonfiction podcasts. I started with Serial. Serial, yes. Season one. If you haven't seen Serial season one, what are you doing? Seen it? <laughs> Damn it! I'm turning to you. Um, I'll leave that in. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's amazing. Uh, I, as I do, I marathoned it in a day, I think. Of course it's you did. It's ridiculous. <laughs> um, but it's really good. It's really interesting. Season two, though, I think is a little bit more polarizing. A lot of people didn't like it. Um, Mm -hmm. I actually kind of found it fascinating. It's about uh, Bo Bergdahl, who was a, um, well, not a prisoner of war. He basically went missing in Afghanistan and was kidnapped by the Taliban. And he's controversial because a lot of people think he was a traitor. and And he did intentionally walk off for different reasons. And... Um, the podcast kind of explores the reasons why he left and why people hate him and why people have forgiven or why some people have forgiven him, why some people won't ever. Well, and like then trial, right? Yeah, and then also why he is being tried for basically... There's a couple things he's being tried for, and I don't remember. Um, I think one was like... Um, what is it called? Like uh, when they... Desertion. Desertion, maybe. Yeah. And then I forgot mm-hmm. the other one was, which was like really unique... Um, and I don't think anybody's been tried for this other thing in like a really long time. So, and the thing is, like, I actually I'm one of the people who stopped listening to it. I liked the first season of Serial. It's Sarah Koenig is her name, right? Yeah. Um, and it's I like the first one because it's more it's um it's like a murder. You have this small town, and you're trying to figure out like, did this guy do it or not? And in the second one, it is more like I have a difficult time with anything to do with the war because I have I just have a hard time with it because I don't I. I have feelings. Um, but I have had, you know, I've met uh, a soldier who knew, like, the guys who are involved in the podcast. He's been actively listening to the podcast, and he says she's doing a wonderful job. He said it's it's very well done. It's very fair. It's very, you know. Yeah, it's and it's not as addictive as the first one was. I mean, the first one was just fascinating. Yeah. But I, do, I did think that she did a good job, and I did think it was interesting. So I do, if you are interested at all in that, situation or that case um but if you know a lot about it i did read a lot of comments about how it didn't really bring anything new to the um, conversation like mm-hmm. the original podcast she found or the it first was a cold season case, yeah it was a cold case and they found out a lot of new information yeah and presented a lot of information and then there was a lot of stuff that obviously not everybody had even heard about this case so it was new to them anyway this case was very national and everybody a lot of people had already known a lot about it so if you know a lot about it i think that people think that it didn't provide a lot of new information yeah but i mean it's you know it's an interesting perspective on things and i'm kind of like 
I, like I said, I have a problem with the war, but the, the group who I will listen to talk about any controversial topic on the planet, which is another nonfiction podcast, is The Dollop. Um, Maggie, who is not with us, uh, she turned me on to The Dollop, actually. She told me to listen to one of the episodes about uh, vampires in America, which I think is like the third episode or something. It's very early. And basically, it's two improv comedians, Dave Anthony and Gareth Reynolds, and Dave Anthony researches some weird event in American history and tells it to Gareth Reynolds. Like, Gareth has no idea what's going on, and his reactions are always ridiculous and hilarious. It's very blue. Is that what you, when there's lots of swearing? Um, it gets vulgar. It gets a bit, um, and it, it does get very crazy. But, like, the information is always interesting. They had a whole thing about how George Washington died. I didn't know it was, like, this... So much <laughs> saying, I didn't know he dead. I knew he was dead. I did not know it involved as much bloodletting as it did. That's and, like, cool. they pick all these weird, like, American vampires. Like, the fact that we thought vampirism was around in, like, 1902. And, like, the whole thing about people in Connecticut eating hearts. Like, it's weird. Listen to their stuff. They have a whole bunch of really crazy things. They tour sometimes. Um, but it's very funny, and it's a very interesting look at American history. The other podcast that I listened to was called Someone Knows Something, and basically it's a rip-off of, rip off of the model of Serial, which is that it's a serial podcast, and that it's telling one continuous story week after week. Um, and it's, again, telling a cold case of a little boy that went missing. Um, I don't recommend it. I The guy, the host, is really overly poetic, and it's really annoying, and mm-hmm. You don't really find out much throughout the whole thing, so, yeah. Is it like the violin snow shots from To Make a Murderer? Um, I, I, yes. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> it took me a minute to process that question. <laughs> um, it's, yeah, so this is, just pause here if you do want to listen to it or are listening to it. By the end, uh, you don't nobody knows anything it's called someone knows something nobody knows anything you find nothing new out (laughs) and you wasted however many hours because it's 11 episodes and each are like 40 minutes long oh god yeah so don't pass yeah yeah hard pass Uh, so i'm looking for new nonfiction ones i'm really excited because sarah koenig with serial it they will be doing a third season and they also have a new podcast coming out oh cool but i don't know anything about when they are coming out or what the new one will be about. Yeah, I will have to pay attention to that. Yeah. Um, another one I'm not really sure about the fate of is Infinite Monkey Cage. This is the one we tried to do a podcast before and when we got the blooper. Um, but Infinite Monkey Cage is with uh, Brian Cox and Robin Ince, and basically they just talk about a lot of science stuff, hmm. um, like quantum physics. And it's they did them. I mean, it's been going for a while. The last episodes are from February, so they might just be on a hiatus. Um, I haven't been listening as religiously as I was, but I figured this would be a good time to mention it. In case you are interested in science, see things, or you just kind of want to get like a crash course. Like, it's very interesting because they have comedians on. Um, they randomly had uh, uh, Alan Moore, who they keep calling a part-time wizard. Like, he shows up <laughs> and just talks about stuff. And I'm like, what the... And he's very, like, he talks about, you know, some of the, the, the reasons why he picks certain things in his comics and all sorts of stuff. So, I mean, like, they've got all kinds of things to look at. All of them are scientifically based. Um, Brian Cox is a staunch atheist, so he gets very <laughs> particular about stuff. Tina would like it. <laughs> um, and the other thing I was going to mention really fast is also anything ghost. It's just fun. Basically, um, people send in ghost stories. And that supposedly really happened to them. You know, it's I'm using air quotes. You can't see me. But it's just fun to hear the stories. Um, sometimes the people call in their own stories. Other times the host reads them. Um, whose name is escaping me right now. I feel terrible. But anyway, um, but and he's, he's fun. I like him. I just like the tone of it. He puts a lot of effort into his stories and the way he sets up the podcast. So anything ghost is fun if you like ghostly things. But otherwise, we couldn't think of any more nonfiction podcasts that we yeah. are aware of. If you listen and listen to podcasts besides ours, then comment. Yeah, give us recommendations, because we would like more if you've listened and they aren't crappy. Don't yes. recommend crappy. We have high us. standards. Jesus. And I just need to listen to podcasts in general, uh, as you can tell from my lack of uh, commentary. We may have trapped Dave in a room. <laughs> yes. We're sweating in here. It's, yeah, hot. it's hot. So we're going to end this one for now, uh, and we'll be back later a few with seconds. more podcasts. More podcasts about podcasts. Yay! 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 Bye.